Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of One Drug in 3 Minute series. To stay tuned with me, please subscribe my channel now if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon. Please do share this video with your friends if you find it useful. So today we are going to study macrolids. Macrolids are broad spectrum antibiotic and they are bacteriostatic. They have large cyclic lactone ring structure with attached to sugar. Drugs in this group are azithromycin, erythromycin, roxithromycin and clarithromycin. The fifth one is tacrolimus which is immunosuppressant drug yet it is a macrolid. Rest four are antibacterials. This drug binds to 50 ribosome and block the translocation of peptide chain from A to P site. Here in the diagram you can see this is the 50S ribosome unit and macrolid is binding over here and it blocks the translocation of peptide change. Here you can see the P site and A site as well. What is here what is important for us is macrolids bind with 50S ribosome and tetracycline binds with 30S as we have seen in the earlier video. Pharmacokinetics, it is well absorbed orally. Erythromycin is excreted by biliary root and clarithromycin by both renal and biliary roots. Excretion of azithromycin is quite low, so it is having longest half-life. Erythromycin is administered four times a day, whereas azithromycin is administered as a single dose. Why? Because of its longest half-life. Macrolids are drug of choice. For the mnemonic for which is clo. So it is a drug of choice for chancroid, cornebacterium, which causes diphtheria, and campylobacter, legionella infection, atypical pneumonia, whooping cough by bartitella pertussis. Azithromycin has similar spectrum but is more active against H influenza and Neisseria. Because of its long half-life, a single dose is effective in the treatment of urogenital infection and trachoma caused by chlamydia. It can be used once weekly in prophylaxis of MAC infections. MAC infections are a group of mycobacterium avium complex. It is most commonly seen in uh, HIV patients and they are life-threatening infections. Macrolids have anti-inflammatory action. This is your MCQ. Which antibiotic can act as anti-inflammatory also? So that is macrolids. Why? Because due to their effect of neutrophils and inflammatory cytokines. This also you have to remember. Spiramycin is drug of choice for treatment of toxoplasmosis in pregnancy. Fidaxomycin is a non-absorbed macrolid approved for the treatment of Clostridium difficile infection. Toxicity Side effects of macrolid Mnemonic is macro, quite easy to remember. Motilin receptor agonist which means it causes diarrhea. And uh, GIT related side effects are more with uh, macrolids. Allergy it can cause cholestasis and reversible autotoxicity. Reversible autotoxicity is seen by erythromycin IV dose. When erythromycin is given IV, it causes reversible autotoxicity in some cases. Erythromycin, roxithromycin and clarithromycin inhibit CYP3A4 receptors. If administered to patient, who is already receiving tofenidine, estimazole or cisapride, these drugs may lead to prolongation of QT interval. So guys, hope this was useful. Please like, comment and subscribe.